Hello, my name is Dave Barkley and I'm with the EI Education Division. This video demonstrates how to use a stroboscope to adjust and monitor a rotary tool for flapper peening applications. Here are some typical tools used for flapper peening. This is an electric rotary tool with a flap mounted in its mandrel. I'll turn it on with it running at some unknown RPM. With flapper peening, it's important to adjust the tool to a specific RPM and continually monitor it to ensure that it stays within plus or minus 100 RPM as required by the spec. Here I'm using a digital tachometer to adjust the speed up to 4000 RPM. This method is used by most flap repeating operators to set the tool RPM. The spec states that you must do this continually throughout the process to ensure the RPM does not vary. An easier way to do this is to use a stroboscope like the one that EI offers. This unit uses LEDs so it can be operated off batteries with long battery life. Using the buttons here on the right side of the unit adjusts the flash rate by having the current setting. The camera has a difficult time capturing what this truly looks like. You can also quickly double the current setting. I'll leave it set to 4200 flashes per minute for our first adjustment. I'll place it back here to light up the flat better for the camera. We'll turn on the motor. Remember that we just set it to 4000 RPM with the digital tachometer. By placing the rotating flap and the light from the LEDs, we can easily adjust the motor's RPM to equal the flash rate of the stroboscope. Watch the flap and arrows I've drawn while I adjust the motor RPM. When the tool RPM equals the flash rate, it looks as if the tool and the arrows are stopped or barely moving. I'll use the digital tack now to prove that the RPM has been adjusted to the desired 4200 RPM. To make incremental adjustments, I use the up and down arrows on the stroboscope. I'll adjust it to a random flash rate. I'll stop at 4425. Now I'll adjust the motor RPM to match the stroboscope's flash rate. I didn't get it exact, but it should be close. I want to get a bit closer. For the next part of this demonstration, I'll adjust the flash rate back to 4200. I'll use this time to point out the two phase shift buttons on the stroboscope. They're an aid for measuring a machine's fixed RPM, so we don't need to cover them for this application. Now that I've adjusted the stroboscope down to 4200 flashes per minute, I need to adjust the motor down to 4200 revolutions per minute. And I'll double check with the tachometer. I'm only 2 RPM off. Now let's have a look at how we can use the stroboscope while generating a saturation curve. For this I'll bring in a magnetic almond strip holder. I'll also use one of EI's new printed almond strips. Normally I check for prebo and zero my gauge before using the strip, but this is just a demonstration of the stroboscope. I'll position the stroboscope to light up my work area. After turning the motor back on, I'll check to make sure my RPM is still at 4200. 
It looks like the grease inside the cable has cooled a little, requiring me to make an adjustment. The flap appears not to be spinning, but when I begin to apply the flap onto the almond strip, the load causes the motor to slow down, thus giving the appearance of rotation. When I turn off the stroboscope, you can see the flap is spinning normally. With the motor under load, I'll check the RPM with the digital tachometer, and you'll see that the speed has dropped off only 50 RPM, so we're still within spec. I can adjust the motor to bring it back to 4200 RPM while it's under a load. Remember to be consistent. If you determined your required RPM while loading the motor on the almond strip, you must check your RPM while the motor is loaded on the work surface. The video won't capture this well, but the surface of the new strips make it much easier to examine the coverage. That's even before you use magnification. If you determine the required RPM while the flap was free spinning, you can periodically check the RPM with the stroboscope as a look aside device. Now I'll change the motor RPM to be 4200 while spinning freely. Again, this is for demo purposes only. You should stick to one method for accurate results. I'll show you one last time how easy it is to adjust speed, this time back under load. Using a stroboscope is an economical way to adjust and continually monitor your flapper equipment RPM. This concludes this demonstration. This has been Dave Barkley with the EI Education Division.